All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to begin UV mapping. So let's simply go ahead and open up our channel box editor, select our high res mesh, and go to layers, create layer from selected, we'll double click, and we'll rename that to um, high res mesh. Save that. And then I'll make it invisible. Okay, so we've got a little bit of history on here. So let's go ahead and go to edit, delete by type history. And then we'll open up our modeling drop down menu, UV, UV editor. Okay, so right now the UVs look pretty bad. Um, so it's not, that's okay. It's not really a big deal. Uh, what we can do is right mouse click, go to UV shell, and delete those UV shells. Okay, so side view, go ahead and highlight this entire character, go into our side view, and go to create, camera based, and project that. All right, now we can also try the uh, planner mapping and do that from the x-axis and actually do the same exact thing so it's quite all right uh, next thing that we want to do is begin to work on the character's neck but I'm gonna go ahead and enable the checker map press 5 in our wire view or I'm sorry in our side view and you can see that the square textures are like really off so I'll just click on that square and scale it down so that it's a perfect square shape. And now you can let me kind of dim that image. You can see the uh, silhouette. Our character looks closer to what we have in our viewport. Okay, now let's go ahead into our perspective and I'll go to edge mode and look underneath the character's neck. And if I click, let's see, let's go right about here. I'll hold shift. That ear and goes all the way around. We'll go to the cut and sew, cut, and then I'll add a cut right down the back of his neck. I've got a cut. So now we can right mouse click and hold, go to Actually, let's go in here. Go to UV shell. Click on that. And we'll go to the unfold and click unfold. So here's our character's neck. Okay. Next thing it will do is unfold the ear. So I'll click around that ear. And we'll also add another cut. We'll go to UV shell, click on the ear, move them out this way, and go to unfold. So since I have the symmetry on, I can just turn it off for a second. This is the right ear, and then there's transform, so we can simply scroll down and rotate it. Let's just do that and move this over to the left. Move this one over. This is actually my left, right. Okay, I guess it all depends on the way you're looking at it. So, okay. That's the back of the neck. And this is this ear. So I'll just kind of align these two like that. 
Okay. Next, uh, let's go inside of the character's mouth. And let's locate the lips. Actually, let's go around here on the inside. And let's go to edge. I almost feel as though the lips need to be a, a little bit thicker. So what I am going to do is take that shape and I'm going to press R. Actually, what I'll do is go to my multi-cut tool, turn on edge flow, I'll hold control, and I'll do that. Double click this. And then I'll scale it in like that. Okay. It's a little bit of pinching going on right there. Let me turn my symmetry tool back on. And then do that. Okay. So I want to double click on this edge here. And then go into my UV editor, scroll down and click cut. And then I'll go to the edge right here at the bottom. And let's follow it all the way down. And I'll hold shift. All right, so if I press four, you can see that this moves got the way. I've cut it all the way down the middle. Okay, and it should connect to that seam, that white seam. And then cut. Now I'll go to right mouse click and hold, UV shell, click on that shell, unfold. There it is. Kind of move this over to the right, rotate it. And now. we can begin working on the head. So I'll add another cut right down the center of his head. So I'll press five so you can see what I'm doing. I'll click here, I'll hold shift and stop right about there. Go to cut, UV, UV shell, unfold. And there we go. Pretty cool. So, the UV layout looks really nice. Uh, the, anything that's white or red on your character, um, white means it's perfect. Uh, red means that there might be a little bit of stretching. So I'm going to highlight these UVs here on my character and then click on the optimize tool. And now I'll click on the nose and click on optimize. A few times. It's actually making it a little bit worse, so I'll press Z to undo. Sometimes you can press R to scale it up. You can see as I scale it up that it's starting to go away. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. So you can see that I'm getting rid of some of the, the red. Sometimes I'm making it a little bit worse. I'll just press Z to undo. I think what I had earlier looked, looked okay. Uh, last thing that we want to do is to un uh, put these in a proper layout. So what I'm going to do is turn on the checker pattern. And you can see that the checker pattern in some places 
looks a little bit larger than others. So you can see on the face, the texture, uh, the checker pattern is larger, I'm smaller than the one on the neck. So we want to definitely fix that. Um, what I can do is click on this shell, click on the word get, click on that shell, and click on the word set. So now they're the same. I'll click on the face again and go to get, click on the ears and then set, click on the esophagus and click set. Okay. So I probably could do a little bit work on, on the nose. Again, you're going to see it's, it's a little red, um, and that's going to mean that the textures are going to be stretching. Um, I showed you a little earlier how I was working on the UVs and trying to scale them down, which is going to increase that stretching, and then scaling it up, which is um, obviously doing something pretty good for us. So I won't uh, do that now, um, although I am kind of showing you uh, the process. But uh, I think that's something that you guys can do on your own time. Um, I just kind of want to walk you through the last steps of this tutorial. And that's to highlight all of the, the shells. We're going to go to Modify, Layout Option Box. And we want to make sure that the fixed non-manifold geometry is turned on. Um, the let's click on the uh, pre shell prescale is set to uh, 3D. It's fine. Uh, translate shell is turned on. We want our texture map size to be 4096. Our shell padding to be four. Our tile padding to be four. And then the tiles uh, set to one to one, and that's fine. We'll go to layout UVs. I'll click close, and there you go. All right, so that's it. Um, next step is to take this model to transfer the high res mesh geometry onto our low res mesh um, to bake the normals so that we can see all that detail. And then we'll go into Mudbox or Substance Painter or if you use Mari, whatever your preferred texturing software package is, we'll texture there. So um, in this tutorial, we're actually going to texture in Mudbox, um, which is not ideal, but uh, we'll, we'll make it work. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. So last tutorial, we went to the... Uh, modeling UV and we laid out our UV map, which looks something like that. So what we need to do is bake all of the high res information on this model and transfer it to the low res model. So first thing that we should do is select our low res model, go to edit, delete by type, and we got rid of all the history here. We'll rename this to low underscore res mesh. And then I'll create a layer by clicking this create a new layer and assign selected objects to it. I'll double click the layer and rename it to low res. I'll click save and then I'll hide that. Click on this item right here, the isolate selected. Here's my high res mesh. So we'll simply name that high underscore res mesh. And then we'll create a layer, or you can go to layers, create uh, layer from selected, double click that, and call it high res. Save that. So let's turn off the high res and let's turn on the low res mesh. So first things first, highlight it, go to the rendering drop down menu, go to lighting slash shading, transfer texture maps. 
So what you're going to see in the uh, transfer map attributes is that you have the low res mess shape selected, okay? And the source mesh, nothing is selected now, but we want to put our high res mesh there. So what we can do is right mouse click on the high res mesh, go to select objects, and we'll go to add selected. So now our high res mesh shape is there. Click on the normals tab. Let's uncheck include material. Now the normal map, we would like to rename it. So I'm going to put that in my images folder. Or you could put that under your source images. So I'll call it um, head underscore nrml head normal. Click save. Let's change the file format from DDS to TGA or Targa. There we go. The map space it says tangent space. We want to change that to object space. Let's scroll down to the Maya common output and change our map width to 4096, or in other words, a 4K image. And now we want to change the sampling quality to a value of high and that's just about it so we're going to we're going to click bake and close now this is going to take a while so i'll stop it after the baking process is over and so just click bake and close okay so that process uh, finally took about 15 minutes. If we click on our geometry and then go back to the modeling drop down menu, UV and then UV editor, and we won't be able to see that particular image on our characters. Now, I'm just going to assign a basic blend shader. It's not the final shader that we'll use for our model. So let's click on this guy and I'll right mouse click and hold, go to assign new material. Again, we'll be using Arnold shaders. So if I go to blend, click on the attribute editor and go to our blend. Under the bump map, I can click here, go to file, and then let's go ahead and click on that bump map file and search for our image which is the normal and that's what it looks like right so it has all of the height information on there it looks very strange like something radioactive but it actually looks kind of cool to me uh, if I click on that press OK and then under so let's go back right there and then it says use as and we change it to object space normal. If I click on this character, I always say character, it's like, it's me. So if I click on myself and click here, you should see the high res mesh. Okay, there it is. So everything aligns perfectly and uh, for the sake of not crashing my machine, uh, I'm not going to do what I want to do next, which is um, press 3. Now that you can see the, the normal maps on here, if you press 6 on your keyboard, you'll see all the low res, um, see the low res geometry, but you'll also see all that high res information that we sculpted in, in Mudbox. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. And um, the next step is to take this model into Mudbox and begin adding uh, our diffuse map to it, which is our skin color. So I'll see you guys over in Mudbox.